I've always been an abstract artist until recently. I have been incorporating more realistic items like birds and myself. And I think it really shows how like mysterious I am where I've always really thought about these things as I was sort of hacking away at making paintings and working with color and shape and now it's sort of coming together in a different way to describe something else about who I am and what I want to express. I think yoga starts it all because it's just finding my center and quieting down and finding the space not inside of myself to be able to be creative and open and I actually I do it it's sort of a routine I, I breathe and I stretch and I get ready and then I play a little music to kind of open up and get my body moving and, and listening to the sound and then it just sort of transfers over into starting to paint so they're all they all work together and tend them together so. The self-portrait series, each one is sort of like a layer of myself. Each, every, every one I paint, I feel like I'm shedding a skin in a way, like, and sort of releasing a part of myself. And um, in, in the growth, like in the, my own growth as a woman, I just feel like it's really important to express like what I am and who I am as an artist not only just as a maker and a creator, but also like my emotions and my spirit and, and who I am, make sure I record that. And this whole process of living and being and being a woman and, and making sure it's documented in a special, special way. I have a couple of small mirrors that I set up on my easel and I work on them at different times of the day purposefully so that I get different lights and, and it makes it so that the images have different facets and different lights and colors and I work, at, work on them sometimes in the morning and sometimes at, the, at night and of course everyone feels different at those different times of day so it kind of captures a little bit of that time and the space and the place and where I'm at at that certain day in one image and I do I do really like abstraction I'm originally an abstract artist I like color and I like shape and I like mark making and so I'm really trying to find that balance where I'm showing the image of a face my face but also it still reads as an abstract image I actually write three longhand pages every single day. I've been doing it for like 10 years. So I have stacks and stacks and stacks of books of journaling and I always write about what I'm working on and what I'm thinking about and what's important to me and my work and how I want to push myself. And sometimes I do start a series and I want to get it done so fast, but as I'm getting older and wiser, I'm realizing I need to slow down and really document how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking about, and what materials I'm using. and slowing down even just the process of making the work, allowing myself to work on a piece for three or four days at a time. Well, I worked here, I worked with this community before, and I always just thought it was just such a really cool place and space for our community in the Cape. And I'm not original, like I'm not a typical Cape Cod artist, you know, I'm not painting, you know, the scenes, the landscape and different things. I, I really tried to push the envelope a little bit in my, in my artwork and I'd like to try to push the envelope a little bit here and be able to get some really funky, cool classes and workshops in this space. Um, and, and for myself, I really just, I really, I've already feel it that uh, just the space itself has a really good energy and I can feel that it's pushing me to grow in my own work. So I'm really excited about that. I have a song and it's called The Guitar With One String. And I remember when I was really young, my family was moving and there was this guitar with one string. And I sat outside 
and I played this guitar and it only had one string and it was out of tune, it was horrible. <laughs> and I sang and all my brothers and sisters and all the kids in the street, they came out and they sort of like sat there and they, I had one string, <laughs> one string guitar and I was singing and everyone was listening and right there I could feel something like I was connecting with people and I could feel it in myself and I've always, I've always just played music, you know, if I was sad or needed to like just be, like be in a different place. It was always my go-to for just release and, and, and um, finding peace. This dark black cloud, it's coming down. Feels like I'm